Gaihulgan, officially the city of Gaihulgan, Cebuano, Dakbayan sa Gaihulgan, Filipino, Lungsod ng Gaihulgan, Spanish, Ciudad de Gaihulgan, or simply Gaihulgan City, is a fifth-class city in the province of Negros Oriental, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 95,969 people, the third most populous city in Negros Oriental after the cities of Dumaguete and Bayawan. Gaihulgan is also known as the Rising City of the North. Barangays Gaihulgan is politically subdivided into 33 barangays. History There are several versions how the city derived its name. The first, according to old tales, was attributed to a river flowing directly to the town proper from the main spring in Sitio Anaha, Barangay Nagsaha, hence the name. G-U-I-P-A-D-U-L-N-G-A-N. Which means the point where the river flows to an end. The second is associated with the gruesome incident in the 19th century when the Philippines was a colony of Spain. Men and women of different ages were said to be captured, beheaded and thrown into the sea by the Moros, now known as Tañón Strait. Other accounts claim that the Moro invaders dropped a bell into the sea when they found out that it was used by the lookout to warn the townsfolk of their coming. Since that time, the place has been called G-U-I-H-U-L-U-G-A-N, which means place where a thing was dropped, but in the Spanish writing, U and N are similar, which is why it became commonly written and known as G-U-I-H-U-L-N-G-A-N. Whether it originated as G-U-I-P-A-D-U-L-N-G-A-N or G-U-I-H-U-L-N-G-A-N the name is indeed symbolic, as the town is dropped with abundant blessings from the Almighty for a significant end. Cityhood During the 11th Congress 1998 Congress enacted into law 33 bills converting 33 municipalities into cities. However, Congress did not act on a further 24 bills converting 24 other municipalities into cities. During the 12th Congress 2001 to 2004, Congress enacted into law Republic Act No. 9009, RA 9009, which took effect on 30 June 2001. RA 9009 amended Section 450 of the Local Government Code by increasing the annual income requirement for conversion of a municipality into a city from 20 million pesos to 100 million pesos. The rationale for the amendment was to restrain, in the words of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, the mad rush of municipalities to convert into cities solely to secure a larger share in the internal revenue allotment despite the fact that they are incapable of fiscal independence. After RAW 9009 went into effect, the House of Representatives of the 12th Congress adopted Joint Resolution No. 29, which sought to exempt from the 100 million pesos income requirement in RAW 9009 the 24 municipalities whose cityhood bills were not approved in the 11th Congress. However, the 12th Congress ended without the Senate having approved Joint Resolution No. 29. During the 13th Congress 2004 to 2007, the House of Representatives re-adopted former Joint Resolution No. 29 as Joint Resolution No. 1 and forwarded it to the Senate for approval. However, the Senate again failed to approve the Joint Resolution. Following the suggestion of Senator Aquilino Pimentel, Senate President, 16 municipalities filed, through their respective sponsors, individual cityhood bills. The 16 cityhood bills each contained a common provision exempting it from the 100 million pesos income requirement of RA 9009. Exemption from Republic Act No. 9009 the city of XXX shall be exempted from the income requirement prescribed under Republic Act No. 9009. On the 22nd of December 2006, the House of Representatives approved the cityhood bills. The Senate also approved the cityhood bills in February 2007, except that of Naga, Cebu which was passed on 7 June 2007. These cityhood bills lapsed into law on various dates from March to July 2007 after President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo failed to sign them. 
Gaihongdin was already the largest municipality in Negros Oriental when, in July 2007, a popular referendum was passed declaring it a city. The point of law at issue in 2007 was whether there had been a breach of Section 10, Article 10 of the 1987 Constitution, which provides, no province, city, municipality, or barangay shall be created, divided, merged, abolished or its boundary substantially altered, except in accordance with the criteria established in the local government code and subject to a approval by a majority of the votes cast in a plebiscite in the political units directly affected. And in each case the established criteria were far from met. In November 2008, Gaihongan and 15 other cities lost their cityhood after the Supreme Court of the Philippines granted a petition filed by the League of Cities of the Philippines, and declared unconstitutional the cityhood law RA 9409, which had allowed the town to acquire its city status. The Supreme Court ruled that they did not pass the requirements for cityhood. On 10 December 2008, the 16 cities affected acting together filed a motion for reconsideration with the Supreme Court. More than a year later, on the 22nd of December 2009, acting on said appeal, the court reversed its earlier ruling as it ruled that, at the end of the day, the passage of the amendatory law regarding the criteria for cityhood is set by Congress is no different from the enactment of a law, i.e., the cityhood law specifically exempting a particular political subdivision from the criteria earlier mentioned. Congress, in enacting the exempting law S, effectively decreased the already codified indicators. Accordingly cityhood status was restored. But on 27 August 2010, the 16 cities lost their city status again, after the Supreme Court voted 7-6, with two justices not taking part, to reinstate the 2008 decision declaring as unconstitutional the Republic Acts that converted the 16 municipalities into cities. A previous law required towns aspiring to become cities to earn at least 100 million pesos annually, which none of the 16 did. On 15 February 2011, the Supreme Court made another volt face and upheld for the third time the cityhood of 16 towns in the Philippines. Finally, on 12 April 2011, the Supreme Court, in an end bank ruling delivered in Baguio City, affirmed the finality of the constitutionality of the 16 cityhood laws by resolving that we should not ever lose sight of the fact that the 16 cities covered by the cityhood laws not only had conversion bills pending during the 11th Congress, but have also complied with the requirements of the LGC prescribed prior to its amendment by R.A. Number 9009, Congress undeniably gave these cities all the considerations that justice and fair play demanded. Hence, this court should do no less by stamping its imprimatur to the clear and unmistakable legislative intent and by duly recognizing the certain collective wisdom of Congress. Wherefore, the ad cautelum motion for reconsideration of the decision dated 15 February 2011 is denied with finality. On 28 June 2011 the Supreme Court directed the Clerk of Court to issue the entry of judgment on the cityhood case of 16 municipalities. Demographics College and University Negros Oriental State University, Gaihongan Campus is a state university in the province of Negros Oriental. St. Francis College Gaihongan SFCG, is a private institution located in Bateria, Gaihongan, Negros Oriental. Inspired by the charism of St. Francis of Assisi, it was founded by three Franciscan friars. Landmarks A huge bell with a carabao was served as the main attraction of the city located at the side of Justice Hall along the National Highway. Festival Carabell Festival, every 24 of May, legend has it that marauding pirates used to slaughter natives of the town and drop their corpses into the sea. Gaihalugan Festival of Gaihulgan is usually celebrated on 24 May. This festival is also referred to as the Carabell Festival because of a story about a bell that saved the lives of the natives. According to some legends of the olden days, Moro pirates sailed the lands of Negros Oriental. Transportation 
Mactan Cebu International Airport is the closest major airport to Gaihulgan, although it lies on Cebu Island just to the east. Fast ferries serve Gaihulgan from Cebu. Alternatively, flights go from Cebu Airport and Manila to Dumaguete Airport, from where buses run from Dumaguete City to Gaihulgan, 120 kilometers 75 miles north. References External links Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Gaihongan Official Website